All right, everyone. Sorry about the background noise, but this video we're going to continue assembly of the engine, the front cover, dampener, and oil pan. I uh, will be putting in the cam synchro too, but that will be in a later video. So let's start with putting the front cover on. I got my bolts over there, and I got the front cover over there, and I'm going to be using some RTV to keep it on the front cover when I install it. Um, I already changed out the front main seal. You just knock it out with a punch and hammer and then you take a socket about the size of the diameter of the seal and just knock it in there. Almost to the edge of the inside but then you stop. It should be relatively even so that seal is installed so I'm gonna grab some RTV that I have just ripped open here because the this tube's old and a lot of it got uh, dry at the top so I'll probably throw this out when I'm done but I'm gonna smear some RTV on the cover here put the gasket on and then we'll install the gasket It's already hardening.
All right, they're all torqued to 15 foot pounds. And now let me go get the dampener and we'll put the dampener on. All right, here we are. Installing the crank pulley. I am putting a new one on because the rubber here is so swollen on the old one. And this is your first combat for engine harmonics. So, with the front cover on, yes, I put the water pump on before I put the front cover on. It's whatever. I decided to do it that way. Um, the front seal is in. Nothing too special about the front seal other than you just need a socket the size of the front seal to uh, get it knocked in there evenly without going all the way. And now I have my front pulley crank sensor. There's nothing wrong with this so I'm reusing it and it's just going to sit on there. The uh, keyway lined up with keyway and basically you just slide it on there. I'm going to need a plastic mallet. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, Joe. And if you think so, I'm running, you can run it back. Let me get Yo, one. Run it back. You know that I'm running. Yep. Everything you want to do, I already done it. Uh -huh. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's going to be a long night. Yeah. You know. I said, uh, I said, damn, it's going to be a long night. Woo. Shorty drop it for a real one. Yeah. Go ahead and pop it, let me feel some. Do it for the boy with a bag yeah. now. Movie star money making everybody act out. Hey. I don't lie to these women. If I want them, then I tell them. Don't yeah. get fly for these women. I was born with these propellers. All my haters cannot be me, so I call them my capellas. Hey. See, I'm only getting better. You only get jealous. You know that I run it. I run it. Everything you want to do, I already done it. Hey. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night, 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 night. You know? I right, this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. Empty. JPP. You already know, baby. Yeah. All right, dampener's installed, torqued. It's uh, by Haynes Manual to stages 30 something foot pounds to, and then the second stage is 90 degrees. Me, uh, expensive snap on torque wrench will do, do uh, angle torque. So it stopped me at 86, which is decent enough so dampeners installed flip the motor around and we're going to install the pan all right here we go we're going to do this quick because my battery is dying we're going to install the oil pan so install on the oil pan the gasket the later gasket that i have which you'll see in a moment is a uh, rubber slash steel gasket we got to put RTV on the front cover meets right here and then RTV in the little slots down here where part of the gasket go hopefully you can see that so right where the front cover meets grab some RTV and then right here so grab my big ass freaking tube that's already drying If 
you can see you got your little rubber tabs there that's the back and we're going to put this on two studs up here I'm probably gonna actually I'm probably gonna need to put Our TV. On both these humps here. I mean. These are going to be the problem spots. This is going to be interesting. Like it's in the groove. I gotta smash that whole rubber side down. That one really stripped out. And I didn't even know it. Awesome. Yes, it is. Well, there's RTB around it, and I'm doing something very, very frowned upon. Yes, I'm doing this. My motor. Don't care.
Gotta be careful on these front ones because they're in aluminum. I already have one that's stripped out that I had no idea about. Alright, since when I was editing this, I think the camera died or just didn't record, so it can abruptly come to here. The pan's been installed. Yes, I RTV'd this front bolt. It's dry now. All the bolts were torqued. I don't even know. Guten tight. Because it's an oil pan. You just have to be mindful. It's a very small bolt. They don't get torqued that much. I think it's probably 15 inch pounds and I'm spitballing there um, the only thing is is these back two ones are like T30 Torx 30 you need a quarter inch ratchet and extension to get it in there 3 8 won't do but oil pans installed and I will paint this engine once I get the heads on but now this is pretty much the end of this section. Uh, the next section will be putting the heads on the valve train and measuring for the push rods I need to get. So that's pretty much it for this segment of the video. Um, comment, like, subscribe, or don't. I don't care either way. But I don't mind having constructive criticism. So, if you like my hot garbage, you might as well subscribe to my hot garbage. If not, okay. Have a nice day.